Civil 3D 2012 includes several improvements that continue to enhance workflow for hydrological and hydraulic projects. This includes a new catchment object that combines some existing functionality with new tools for determining time of concentration and adding custom properties. The catchment object style includes line work that displays a delineation of the boundary and flow path, as well as markers for discharge points, hydrological most distant points, and flow segment start points. Additionally, there are label styles for area and flow segments. If we go to our tool space in the Prospector tab and right-click on catchments, we'll select Create Catchment Group. We're going to simply press OK. And then notice in our tool space under catchments, our catchment group was created. We're going to right-click on our catchment group and go to Select Create Catchment from Surface. The command line is, also, is now prompting us to specify the discharge point. We're going to choose the center of our circle. And simply say OK to accept the values. Notice that it created the catchment area. Let's select the boundary line of the catchment area. We're going to right click and select catchment properties. And here we're just going to explore the information about the catchment, including our runoff coefficient, our time of concentration method, our actual time of concentration. Notice that these are values that we can edit. And we'll simply say OK. This is useful to users so that they will be able to combine the power of catchment areas, water drop, and other surface analysis tools into one step that creates an intelligent, customizable catchment object. This will give users more opportunity to use their Civil 3D model for water-related projects. Now let's look at Autodesk Storm and Sanitary Analysis, which is included with both Map 3D 2012 and Civil 3D 2012. The new integration has been introduced to make it easier for Civil 3D users to use more of their models directly in SSA. Let us zoom in here and select one of our pipes in the pipe network. And notice the context-sensitive pipe network ribbon that appeared. We're going to click on the Edit and Storm and Sanitary Analysis. We're going to accept the defaults in the Export to Storm Sewer. We're going to wait for Autodesk Storm and Sanitary Analysis to launch. We're going to say OK to create a new project. And we're going to say no when it asks us to save the log file. Then we're going to click on the Plan View tab. And note the underlay of the drawing and model objects from Civil 3D. Note that pipes, inlets, and catchment objects have been imported into SSA model information. I'm going to zoom in here and double click on any sub basin. Note that the runoff coefficient, time of concentration, and area information were imported from Civil 3D catchment objects.
The payoff is users can now take advantage of more of their civil 3D models in SSA and spend less time building their model and importing data in SSA. Automatic underlay also saves the user time locating and attaching an appropriate drawing for context and gives them a better picture of what is included in their design. 